We can't support our students. If we can't pay the rent. We can't support our students. If we can't pay the rent. We can't support our students. If we can't pay the rent. We recognize and appreciate your efforts to lobby the state legislature to address this issue, but we also need you to take immediate action to mitigate this problem by changing the business practices of the college district to prioritize support staff. I turned 60 last year. I'm at the top of my steps, and last year I made $42,211. This year, when I turn 61, I will qualify for shag housing because I make less than $44,900. I realize I'm going to need to work till I'm 70 so that I can get the maximum social security benefit I can. My retirement income will be about half of what I make now. I had no trouble getting people to sign this petition, none. People were like grabbing it out of my hand practically because they are so frustrated People can't keep doing this every year. My rent goes up more than my paycheck. So I'm going backwards and that's just rent. That's not everything else. We can't keep going backwards. We can't afford to work for you. Everything you said touches my heart and I wish I could standing with you and have a magic wand to make a change. But we are committed to do all that we can. We take this very seriously. We've been working at it for several months. But I want to be clear about what we're asking for here today. So this, this is a petition signed by over 400 of our colleagues, uh, classified and hourly staff who are members of the Washington Federation of State Employees around the college district. And we're asking the college district to take immediate action in the 1819 budget to do whatever it is that you can to address the cost of living for our members.